Hi, Nolan with Tacticon Armament here. I want to talk to you guys about dry fire really quick. Why dry fire, why you want to do it, and what it brings to the table. So when we come out here to the range, we are either here to have fun or here to practice for real life scenarios, do drills, things of that nature, bring up our skill with a firearm. So why dry fire when we're out at the range when we could just shoot? Well, let me answer that for you. When we come out here, ammo being as expensive as it is, sometimes you wanna warm up your skills. So that's why I suggest doing a dry fire warm up. Whatever drills you're gonna be running, just start out by doing the fundamentals, do the basics, do it dry fire, and you know, get that body moving. It's like doing a warm up set at the gym. So, empty magazine, empty firearm, just take your time, whatever distance, and warm up. Get those neurological, you know, brain nerves firing off. Get your central nervous system ready to go and your muscles in tune with what you're gonna work. Doesn't have to be anything intense. Can be just simple, draw, fire, target acquisition. It can be, you know, <laughs> it can be any sort of things. It could be, you know, different drills from surrender, learning how to turn around or maybe the other way, figuring out different body mechanics and how it's most efficient for you without wasting ammo. This way you can kind of smooth up the process before you actually start putting rounds down range and working your recoil control and trigger management. So a couple things that I like to do is I like to practice my reloads as well as my presentation. So the first thing I'll do is I'll come here to the target, not too far away, and I'll slowly practice my draw. I'll work it over and over, smoothing out the process, figuring out what I'm doing wrong today because we're not perfect. We're not perfect every day. We wake up and sometimes we're swinging a little to the left. You know what I mean? So, practice. I'm gonna make sure, okay, I'm pressing my trigger straight back to the rear. I'm making sure my trigger finger's pulling straight back. I'm making sure I'm not over gripping to one side. I'm getting a good grip and I'm getting a good sight acquisition. Another good thing to practice is your reloads. Reloads are one of the things that I find takes the most practice. It's easy to pull a trigger for me. Reloading is a little bit more difficult requires more dexterity. You're having to get, you know, this thing in this hole. So what I like to do is after I've done a couple warm-up shots, a couple warm-up drills, then I just start practicing like a one R one style drill. So I'll pull out, shoot, and reload. From there, reset and go again. All of these things are gonna help you. So that way, when you actually start putting rounds down range, you're not feeling bad about wasting ammunition when you're jerking shots off to the left or if you're fumbling your reload. This way you've kind of warmed up, you're ready to roll, and it makes for a better experience out of the range. Give it a try, see how you like it. This has been Nolan with Tacticon Armament. Thanks for watching.